I'm playing Charles Darwin. Sort of, he's he's certainly uh, he's a scientist, and uh, he's he's it's before he's quite conquered his theory of evolution. It's uh, it's a young Darwin, uh, and it's a Darwin with perhaps more uh, insecurities than uh, the the Darwin that would later become world famous. Uh, insecurities about his own abilities, uh, uh, both as a scientist and as a man. Uh, so he's not the most confident chap uh, you could hope to come across. Um, and at times, he's a little craven and uh, uh, perhaps not the uh, the most uh, generous-spirited chap in the world either. I'm not, I don't know that this Darwin is particularly historically accurate. I'm just going to put that out there. But uh, in terms of the, 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 the story of the film, he's... Uh, um, his his very uh, insecurities are uh, help to uh, drive the plot in perhaps slightly unexpected directions. He has a crush on the Queen. Yes, he's he's rather smitten with uh, Queen Victoria, and uh, sort of his every his every motivation uh, springs from his desire to impress her. Uh, and Queen Victoria, as we shall find out, is not quite uh, as history would describe her either. So uh, she she slightly confounds our and Darwin's expectations, I think, as the as the story unfolds. There's a fair amount of uh, uh, of Darwin being thrown around. Yes, I've I've recorded a lot of panting, a lot of screaming, a lot of being hit with various things uh yes i guess it's a he uh he has a fairly um physically active role and he's not a particularly physically active chap so yes he's he, he spends a lot of the film being thrown around and and uh, and hurt in a variety of uh comedic ways it's very unusual this because you're aware that the process is going on for years. You know this the, the, this film is has a long gestation period, and and we actors just come in and visit every now and again. You know, once every three months we'll come and have a recording session, and and it, that spreads over. I don't know how long I've been working on this over a year, maybe even two years now, stretching back. I can't I can't quite think, but it's it's been a long process where we where we just visit every now and again, and of course we'll come back and. And we'll be very excitedly told that now there's now there's five minutes of footage, now there's fifteen minutes of footage, and and it's it's clearly a a laborious and fastidious process. But 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 it's so exciting to just to 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 be at any any contributing factor to that, um, because the, what's very exciting is 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 to be part of the, the finished product on something like this, which we're. The actors aren't the stars. The stars of, of, of this film are the animators and the extraordinary things that they they can do with these with these extraordinary beautiful creations and uh, uh, and the the wonderful world that is created and 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 uh, and indulged uh, with all the sort of creative brilliance that that Ardman can throw at it. As actors, we're in this recording studio once every little while, and and you know these tapes go back to the to the to the workshops, and and uh, uh, the film is put together uh, frame by frame. So I guess when we're in the, in the studio, we have to provide as many options as possible, uh, so that uh, just to give the animators every possible chance and every possible option to play the scene in a variety of different ways. Um, so yeah, it, it, we'll often do you know twenty takes. So you've got every every conceivable reading of a line, um, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean you're, you're you're very aware that that the final decisions are not in your hands. The final decisions of how this character will be played are decided uh, in an animation studio far far away, um, and uh, all you can do is hopefully provide whatever raw materials you can to uh, make that live uh, as joyously as possible. Darwin is on the Beagle uh, at sea 
uh, and uh, the pirate captain comes to rob him and, and comes to take his gold. But uh, unfortunately, Darwin doesn't have a lot of gold. Uh, he has a couple of baboons' kidneys, and that's about it, uh, and many things in jars, which don't particularly interest the pirate captain. But then Darwin sees that the captain has a dodo called Polly, uh, and the, uh, and Darwin realizes that this is a, a, a huge uh, uh, zoological find um, and something that that he could use to impress his great love, the Queen. So he inveigles himself into into uh, the pirate's band uh, with a principal notion that he might steal Polly uh, and use her for his own nefarious ends. Uh, it doesn't quite work out like that, of course, but that's how he gets involved with them and that's how their stories become linked. Darwin thinks he's cleverer than the pirate captain and thinks he can use him for his own ends. Uh, but the pirate... Uh, 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 so initially, it's a, it's, a, it's a slightly duplicitous relationship. But I think by the end, they become rather fond of each other. And they certainly have to work together quite closely to save the day. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see this film. I'm so excited to be part of it. Um, and, you know, Ardman are a kind of national treasure, you know, and, and I think you know that if their name is on the film, it's going to be high quality and delicious and hilarious and beautiful and different. So uh, I'm just very excited that I'm part of it.